So welcome to the digitallifestyle.com. Uh, we're here, here with Twonkwe, so you've got a, a great demo you've just shown us of sort of moving media around, so uh, what, what are you going to show us today? Yeah, thanks. Uh, we are going to show you today Twonky experience in a typical home and it's kind of a fun experience where your multimedia, you discover it in uh, different ways. You can discover it in the browser, you can discover it it's in your PC or it's in your phone and you can enjoy it in any device that you have in your home. It's a, it's a pretty much fun experience. So right now we will show you is basically I have here uh, my videos. I capture videos into in, uh, and then I'm going to beam the video that I captured with my phone to my TV directly just one click and basically here we clicked into the video and if you look that's at the TV there. yeah so that's a connected home TV it comes from Samsung there are many of those connected home TVs mm. uh, and media adapters that it, you can buy and enjoy and in a few seconds it's buffering over your local network and you will start seeing the video that you have captured directly into uh, into the TV itself so, so that that video now whereabouts is the actual video source is it on the phone or is it on a on a server? In this particular case, the uh, the video was on the on the PC, yeah. and then we're actually uh, beaming it from the PC directly to the TV. Yeah. But the video could be a captured video that is on the phone itself. So you mm -hmm. take it, you you go out and you you know you go on a vacation or you go on a concert, take your video, you come, the video resides in in in, mm. in, in your phone itself. Uh, also. Uh, it's not only for uh, videos, it's also music and it's also uh, photos. So right now we are going to take a picture of three of us I'll together. I'll, I'll do a little video. A little video. <laughs> the video of a video. Video of the video. <laughs> Packet video likes videos, so let's... <laughs> So we took like a video, and now this is a captured video, and now he's gonna beam that video that we captured, uh, that is resides in the phone, directly from the gallery application to uh, the TV itself. And beam the video, so you, this is it's a different video that you have captured, but not only like the videos that you have captured, but you can also enjoy your music. So maybe we can beam some music to uh, a TV or a stereo system you have in the home, uh, stereo system like Sonos, uh, uh, Philips Streamium, uh, Yamaha, Denon, there are many of those ones which you have in your home. And you basically find the music, you create your playlist, and then you enjoy them into any device you have. So in this particular case, is we are going to click onto that song, and then basically it's going to be playing into the TV itself. Oh, oh. and send it to the receiver? Ah, oh, he's sending it to the Yamaha receiver. Oh, so that's the little, uh, let's go down here. Yeah. Oh, I can just, yeah. But well, here's a fun thing. If you hand me the phone a little bit. So this is this song. I'm enjoying it myself. I want to leave the home. I can switch it and enjoy it into my phone. Right, so that's... So basically... Okay, so that's carrying on playing now on this, on this phone. It's the same song. I switch yeah. it to the phone. Yeah. You can hear it into the phone. Yeah. And then I can switch back to the room and go to a different room and decide, you know what, I'm going to play that music in my living room into my TV itself. So as you can see, here in the TV, it's going to play that song directly for me. Yeah. So it's like in a seamless manner, I yeah. went from one room to another to my TV. And it all happened in, in yeah. that manner altogether. So, so is and that media in this case was stored on a on a server where you've got the Twonky software serving that. Yeah, the song in that particular case actually the song was on the phone, so right. it's your music. Yeah, so yeah. it's exactly yeah. like that. The last one is just to show you a very nice experience. Is here is I'm gonna go to the browser, and uh, this is a Vimeo website. Yeah. So I go to Vimeo website. I'm gonna click onto that video. I want to enjoy it with you onto the TV. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to say beam with Twonky into the TV itself. So it's going to basically beam it directly to the TV. Right. So, so that's, a, so that's um, a video you found on your phone. It's like, oh, I'll share that with the family. So you've thrown it up onto the TV. Exactly. I yeah. found it while browsing the web. Yeah. And I want to yeah. just join, enjoy it into the TV directly. Yeah. In a very simpler manner. Itself. Yeah, that's good. That, yeah. Yeah. So you can you can enjoy podcasts. Uh, you know, like uh, for all our friends in England, I want to show you. I'm gonna go to BBC. I always do that one. I love the BBC. So this is like basically it was buffering the BBC news. Yeah. 
firm has suspended three senior managers. It's very nice from that side. But also you can do more interesting things. It's like here is like when I'm pointing to different servers into the home, like uh, I can switch to a different server. What I can do is go and copy any song I want to from my PC using this product. So And now it's a different music that is in there. Now I can basically copy it to oh, my I phone. Oh, I see, right, yeah. So that's basically you take it with you and you go. Take yeah. it with you and you go out with yeah. it. So you can copy it, you can uh, beam it, you can enjoy it, you can discover content in the web, uh, and YouTube applications and Facebook applications, and the, literally your media videos, photos can be played on any device. Mm. That you have. Yeah, yeah. And is there um, sort of any transcoding going on? So say. It on my s server, I've got a video that's in a format that maybe the TV can't play. Does does the Twonky software make that into a format that the TV could play? Uh, currently, all the soft we we do certain kind of transcoding in the standard product, but uh, some of our customers download transcoding software to to be to be to help them with the transcoding. Yeah. In the next versions of our product, we will have transcoding bundled yeah. in it from yeah. the PC side. On the phones itself, we do simple transcoding, you know, like simple functionality, because the yeah. phones don't have, uh, you know, like the, uh, the yeah. processor power yeah. to do it. But we try to make it as user-friendly as possible. Yeah. By the way, it also works uh, with Xbox, it works with PS3, right. all these kind of combinations mm. from its side. And, uh, and it's really a fun experience. Mm. So to, to get to get hold of the software, is it uh, twonky.com? Twonky.com for the PC software mm -hmm. and the Mac software, and also you can go to the Android market and then download Twonky Mobile directly from Android market. Uh, there is, uh, there is a tw in, in Android we are having it for this limited period for free, so people should download it as, as long as it's for yeah. free. And then in the, PC mark, in the PC and the Mac, you can buy the Twonky server and the Twonky manager, and then there is a Twonky Beam, which is a browser plugin where you can beam from your IE browser or Chrome browser your media uh, from your PC or Mac to any device uh, you have, and that's free. You can yeah. just download. Oh, that's really good because once you, you're on your laptop and you find a video and you want to share it with the family, you can just throw it up to the TV. And... Exactly. I uh, just before the holidays around Christmas, I spent whole evening with my family just beaming YouTube videos to the oh, TV yeah. and just by right clicking and just beaming it to the TV. It was really fun between the phone and the and the browser it was really fun to do yeah it. well that's great it was really interesting to see that and um, I'll include the links for that with the video on the, on the show notes thank you very much for your time today no thank you so much Ian thank you so much